please write down the heading iterating through lists right so iterating through lists and so there you can just write down so iterating through lists so if you have a list right we can access each element in the lists right if you have list we have a mechanism of accessing each element right so each element of the list can be accessed using each element of the list can be accessed using the indexes you can access the elements using indexes by using those methods by using those methods it is possible to iterate through the list it's possible to iterate through the list how we are going to iterate then so we have to go one by one how to do this let's see right i'm going to use the idle and this idle here i'm having a list I'm using this one the same list that i'm having let's this save this as a ex002 i'm going to remove this part this is how you print the entire list Right. this is how you print the entire list and i just want to iterate iterate means not print in entire list accessing element by element one by one by one okay to do that i can use for loop i can say for uh, i in range i can start from the zero you know lists are zero based so indexes are starting from zero i can start from zero and tell that i want to go up to the length of the list length of the list and then i want to print items after accessing so zero to length of the list i want to print the items so let's print let's print uh, names oh, sorry let's print the yeah list is names and they are the ipe index Here also it should be names so let's print i and both i and the i index i comma i index what is i i is ranging from i is ranging from zero to so what is the length of names what is the answer for length of names little what is the value for length of names yes length of names litun can you hear me okay got me what is length of names number of names yeah number of names so what is the value seven sir seven it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 correct the value is 7 it's 0 to 7 i is going from 0 to 7 it will start from 0 and it will stop when it becomes 7 that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 it will be printed let's run this and let's see what will be printed and you can see it's printing okay The so zero is uh, Dasun, one is Mahesh, two is Amila. Likewise, six is Netmi. Print in the index and the okay. That is one method. So, oh, you can use while loop. So you can say let's start from zero. Let's say k equals zero. While k less than the length of let's say marks this time, length of marks. And what I need to print. i need to print the k 
as well as marks k, the k item of the marks. And after that, I just need to increase the k by one, k equal k plus one. So let's run this also. So using while loop also, you can print the here you can see the first list is printed using for loop. The second list is printed using while loop. We can use for loop or while loop. So let's say this is uh, I'm printing. So let's say printing a new line and loop one. Loop one and list one. Loop one, list one. So then I'm um, printing the second one. That is loop two, list two. Now it's meaningful. Okay, so what's wrong? You can see here. Yeah. Loop one, list one, loop two, list two. And there's another one that is uh, the third method that is loop three on list one. Loop three on list one. So what is that? I can access element by element in this method for element in range, sorry, element in, you can directly give the list, list name. For e in names, print e. Then element will be printed. And loop three can be applied on list two also. Let's say loop three on the list two. So in element in marks, print the element. So this way you can access. So these are the methods that you can access loop items. So first one is loop one, list one, you can see. Loop one, list one is printing index and the name. Loop two, list two, index and number. Uh, then loop three, list one, only the values. Loop three, list two, only the values. But it is possible to print uh, numbers also. You have to modify the loop to print the numbers. If you want to print the numbers or indexes, you can modify. I'll do that modification later. First of all, please uh, write down these examples. Please try these examples in your computer and then write down in your book. Okay? Try this example in your computer, then write down in your book. Please do this. Anything unclear, you can ask, right? Manahari clear So if you, you can take this and then uh, what you have to do, small thing, you have to maintain a separate counter. We do counter maintain counter. Let's say C equals zero. And here you are printing E, uh, here C and E board. C and E board. Then after printing, you have to increment C. C equals C plus one. When count take up maintain graph. That counter you can print. Here also, if you maintain the same counter, maybe let's say B, B equals zero. And you are printing the B, B here. And after printing, you say B equals B plus one. You're maintaining a separate counter. By doing that, you can maintain a counter, index counter. But that need to be separately, right? Here you can see zero the sum. Likewise, now you are getting that. Zero 45, nine is 95, six is nested. Likewise, it's printing the, but it is not printing the index actually. What has happened? You are maintaining that manually. Manually maintain karana put. Right? So, but that is not required because you can access this element directly. So why you maintain counter separately? That is not required. Right? Here, but you don't have a method. Anyway, you will get the counter. Using the counter, you can access the list. I think you understood the difference, right? Did you or not? Yes, sir. Okay. So please try this, finish this, and let me know once you're done, right? Right. Uh, so let's see. The next part and now we have done right now we have done uh, this list iteration so let's use this practically to do something so let's iterate to the list 
and do something meaningful. Okay, you can use one of these, right? There are many. You can use any of these in your code. So what I want to do, right? So now you can see you have items in this list, right? You have items in this list. Let's say you have marks, right? Write a question like this. Write a question like this, right? Question. Write a program. Write a program to add 10 inputs to a list. Did we really, uh, actually, uh, did we discuss about append method? Add into the list, append? Did you discuss or not? Last day? Yes. How to add element to a list? Append it? No. Yes. No, right, okay, I'll, I'll teach you, right? Write a program to add in, uh, add, uh, sorry, to add 10 numbers or add 10 inputs, add 10 inputs to a list. Iterate through the through the list after all ten inputs and find the maximum and minimum among the items. and find the maximum and minimum among the items. Okay, you can declare, okay, you can say marks equal empty bracket. So this can be used to, to declare and sorry, to declare an empty list. Or you can use marks equal list records. This is also to declare an empty list. Or just write the heading. So no need to write this twice, right? To declare an empty list, to declare an empty list, you can use this one or this one. Right, then how to add elements? To add elements, we can take the input, maybe number equal input, sorry, int input, enter marks, can give a message. Then adding can be done by this list marks dot append then you can give the append the given number. Right? You can append the given number. This is how you add the numbers. Right? Remaining part, you have to iterate and do that. Do that. Okay, let me show some of this, right? How to do this, like in a okay, let's do, let's use it uh, in the shell itself. So let's say you have a list. M is a list. There is an empty list. So it's my mistake. M is an empty list. If you print M, nothing is there. Nothing is there. So, but uh, if you add, uh, let's say, M dot append, append, so let's append a number. You can append another number. You can append another number. Likewise, you can uh, keep appending. Appending means adding numbers. Keep adding numbers m dot append let's say now you have appended five numbers now if i print m you will get 90 20 26 all numbers are now inside the list. this is what i'm telling right this is what i'm telling tell the uh, do this and append the numbers 
do this and append the numbers. Just take inputs and append the numbers. Do this 10 times after appending. Please find out the maximum and minimum. 